So just want to walk through my trade from today that I took. I uh, ended up breaking even on it. I had, obviously, you can see, um, this is a type of trade where had I just walked away from the chart, kept my stop loss where it was, kept my take profit where it was, and just came back an hour or two later, uh, you know, I made money, right? However, I'm not going to do that because I have to manage the trade and I have to abide by some rules that over time will help me lose less money uh, when I manage trades, right? So, uh, so that being said, you can see price was extremely eh today. Like, look at these candles after open. It's just, it made its way to my draw on liquidity, which was here, these obvious uh, lows here. Okay, equal lows. But it made its way so slowly and so choppy. So uh, it was tough to hang on to it and I'll kind of walk through it. So we'll just start on the daily here so we get an idea. All right. Um, we're at a, actually we'll start on the weekly. We're at a bit of an inflection point where we did just break through this high. Okay, which is what I wanted to see from this week. So we got that. Um, and we're trading inside this weekly bearish fair value gap right now. And we're currently respecting it, okay? What I would wanna see and what would make next week so much easier, I know we're not going to see it today. Uh, we're, we're not gonna see it close above this fair value gap this week, but it would make next week so much easier because then, okay, this if we disrespect this fair value gap, then this is the next t uh, liquidity, right, that we're gonna take. But we're going to respect this this week. And so it makes next week a little bit harder to, to decipher like where we want to go with price. Um, it, it, it might put this fair value gap into question. Do we come back down to here? I could see us respecting this because we don't have too much to come down for. I could see us respecting this this week and still rallying up next week. Um, but yeah, right now we're inside that. So I'm open to some bearishness. That's all even though we are trending up, right? Same thing on the daily, right? We're inside this daily fair value gap that it's just, you know, it's the same fair value gap as the weekly essentially. And we respected it yesterday nicely. Now I don't have any, like, you can see, we don't have much to come down for on the daily, like no fair value gaps, really no like obvious liquidity that we could, we should come down for. Um, so, I wasn't targeting any like crazy area here, especially because it was Friday, right? Um, I kept my target very, it was an intraday target for sure. Um, go to the four hour. What I wanted to see is if this candle right here, this six uh, o'clock, 6 a.m. four hour candle, if it respected this fair value gap, this four hour fair value gap, it didn't close above it. Then I wanted sells. I wanted shorts. Um, cause we were sweeping liquidity and we were respecting that fair value gap. Uh, we were respecting an inverse fair value gap as well. Now here's the sweep on the hourly time frame. So we got our sweep there. One hour fair value gap as well. Right. Um, This was one of my targets, this is another one of my targets. I really was only targeting this though. Um, just these equal lows here on the 15 minute, you can see nice and nice and equal. Uh, or just an obvious draw on liquidity. It really was just an obvious draw. Uh, I was a bit concerned about how we left equal highs here before dropping, but not enough to not enter the trade. Um, but then as you go lower, here we'll just go to the one minute, show you where I entered. So I, I didn't enter off the 930 fair value gap because it's a 930 fair value gap and they're not respected as often as just a normal everyday fair value gap. Um, I got in off of this 935 fair value gap right here, right? You see us wick or tap into it here actually. And then immediate nice reaction. I was like, all right, we're feeling good, right? Whatever. Um, Obviously my stop loss, I'm being generous with it. Like it's, I'm giving the trade breathing room. Um, and just look at price. I mean, right, it's, 
diabolical what we're looking at right now. Like it is, that is disgusting. Like I want to throw up looking at it seriously. Um, but it is what it is, you know, like I, I manage to trade accordingly. Uh, you know, I, because we had a wide enough stop loss, I didn't, I, I gave the time, I, I gave the trade room to breathe. I really did. Like I, I gave it ample time. Um, I want to say I got out. I want it like, let me, let me check. I'll check the uh, actual timestamps on top step. Um, I got out at 10 one. So that's right here. I said, I'm done. I, it's literally like my break even was a magnet or, you know, my entry point, my break even was a magnet for price <laughs> for a solid 20 minutes after I entered. Um, and I just said, dude, I've had enough. Um, I know I have a wide enough stop loss, but you know, typically when price consolidates around your entry, it ends up being a loss. Um, I did let it consolidate around there for quite some time because I had such a wide stop loss. But at one point I was like, dude, I'm done with this. So I got out. Um, and as you can see, uh, having a wide stop loss would have saved me here if I was still in the trade. And we get a nice um, tap into our into our uh, final take profit there. I was hoping, I was really hoping, and it almost happened. So we almost actually, this was almost a winning trade today. Um, right here, man, right here. We had these equal lows here. I had my, I had a sell limit here. I, I, usually when I have um, a trade that's less than a one to 1.5 RR, I will just move the stop loss to break even. That's how I manage it when we get to whatever point we're at. Um, but for this one, I noticed how choppy price was. And I said, you know what? I'm going to leave my stop loss where it is, give trade breathing room. And I'm just going to take off half the position. I had four contracts on. I was just going to take two of the four off when we traded down to this line here because we had equal lows. Um, so we, I came, you know, extremely close to this being two contracts off here and just remaining in the trade. And then I would have just let it play out because it was a risk-free trade and we would have made some money. Uh, but hey, it was just a choppy day, man. It was very choppy price action. Um, I managed it well, I, you know, according to what I was seeing. Uh, I'm glad that my analysis was correct with the draw there. Um, and yeah, so I'm feeling good right now. Well, I'm feeling good going into the next week here. Um, and so that was the trade I took today. I made like eight bucks or whatever, you know, when I took it off at essentially break even. So, um, but yeah, so just wanted to journal that psychology wise, how I was feeling, um, you know, I, I, I kept telling myself because I, I heard about, uh, there's this trader, his name's Kane on Twitter and from what I can tell, he's legit. Um, like he shows his trades and stuff like that. Um, and they seem to be live executions and he seems to be doing extremely, extremely well with getting payouts and stuff like extremely well, like, like I'm talking millions of dollars. Well, um, getting like official payouts in, in the millions. And, um, he said in a podcast and I just saw a quick snippet of it on Twitter. He said, um, when he places a trade, he's already thinking, Okay, whatever capital he put into that trade, it it's gone. All right. So for instance, for me today, I was risking like three hundred eighty bucks. If, if it hit my stop loss, I was gonna lose three eighty bucks. Um, and I just kept telling myself, I was like, money's already gone to me. Money's gone. I essentially just let's I don't know what's three hundred eighty bucks. I, I bought a used PlayStation Five. Um, that's essentially what I <laughs> what I was telling myself. Like the three hundred eighty dollars here is gone. Forget about it. Um, pretend your account has already had that taken out and it's gone. 
Um, and that's a good way of looking at it, I think, once you enter a trade that you're essentially paying to be in the trade. You're paying that fee of $380 that you could potentially um, lose. But you got to treat it like it's already gone. Treat it like it's already So that's what I was doing. And I, I do believe that helped me. Um, I didn't want, one thing I, I didn't want to make too many excuses for holding it longer than I should have. Um, I would, here's the, the, here's the thing. I would have been upset with myself and technically it would have been a rule break had I held on to this trade as long as I did, didn't close it out and then it hit my stop loss, right? So I'm happy with how I handled it because look, obviously in hindsight, it's like, okay, you hold on, you hold on to it, you make money, right? But who the hell knows, especially when you're looking at this candle here, like, you know, now I wasn't in the trade at this point, but I'm just saying like, this is all hindsight now, right? I'm happy that I closed early based off of my rules telling me that I should be closing early. I know I had a wide enough stop loss here to let price do what it did, obviously, right? But again, had this come and stop me out after it was trading along my break even for 20 plus minutes, um, I would have been upset. So I'm happy with how I manage it. And yeah, psychologically, I, all, I'm good. Like, dude, we managed to navigate price during an extremely choppy environment today and got the draw on liquidity correctly or correct. Like, I'm happy. So.